Everything is go. 10, 9, T minus 8, 8 seconds. 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. We have ignition and liftoff. The Falcon 9 rocket powers the Dragon spacecraft toward the International Space Station, laden with new research for the multinational crew. Falcon 9 reaches transonic speed. The vehicle will pass through the area of maximum aerodynamic pressure, or max Q, at 1 minute 18 seconds after liftoff. This is the point when, telemetry nominal. when mechanical stress on the rocket reaches its peak because of the rocket's velocity and resistance created by the Earth's atmosphere. One minute into flight. that the Falcon 9 is supersonic. As you can see the contrail as the rocket passes through maximum dynamic pressure. Vehicle has reached maximum dynamic pressure. Just over one minute left in the flight of the first stage of the Falcon 9. At around two minutes, 35 seconds into the flight, all nine engines will sequentially shut down and you'll hear the call Miko, which is main engine cutoff. And back engine two. The MVAC is the second stage Merlin vacuum engine. It's being chilled for its operation, which will uh, get underway in a little bit more than 30 seconds. Standing by for main engine cutoff. Miko. Stage separation confirmed. Miko and stage separation confirmed. The first stage of the Falcon 9 rocket, having done its job, falls away from the second stage. MVAC ignition. MVAC ignition. The Merlin vacuum engine has ignited. Stage 1 AFTS is saved. The MVAC engine and the second stage will burn for about six and a half minutes, bringing Dragon into low Earth orbit. The engine produces 210,000 pounds of thrust. The vehicle is on a nominal trajectory. Bermuda acquisition of signal. Coming up on four minutes into the flight of Falcon and Dragon. First stage falling away in the upper left portion of your picture. Second stage continues to burn with Dragon on its way to the International Space Station. Four minutes, 15 seconds remaining in this burn of the MVAC engine. Position at New Hampshire.
Coming up on five minutes after launch, everything continues to go well. The first stage in the lower left uh, portion of your picture, not returning to the launch site today. Safely being disposed of. Meanwhile, stage two continues to burn. Three minutes, five seconds remaining before SECO second stage engine cutoff. Six minutes after launch, propulsion officer says everything continues to look healthy on the Merlin vacuum engine. Two minutes, 20 seconds remaining in this burn. Two minutes remaining before SECO. Second stage engine doing its job, taking the Dragon spacecraft to its assigned Vehicle position in space. On trajectory. Seven minutes, two seconds after launch, just under a minute and a half remaining in the burn. Falcon second stage remaining on the proper trajectory. Everything looks good. One minute remaining in the burn of the Falcon 9 second stage. Eight minutes after launch, everything continues to go well. Stage two is in terminal guidance. Stage two is in terminal guidance. Stage two, AFDS has saved. Autonomous flight termination system is safe. About 15 seconds away from a second stage engine cutoff. Engine shut down. Nominal orbit insertion. And as you hear, normal orbit insertion. Acquisition of signal Newfoundland. Next major milestone will be the deploy of the Dragon spacecraft. Looking at the SpaceX Mission Control Center at Hawthorne, California, standing by for Dragon deploy in 13 seconds. And we have Dragon yeah, separation. Yeah. Dragon flying CG on its own. Confirmed dragon confirmed separation. Confirmed separation as Dragon begins its journey toward the International Space Station.
one minute away from the begin of uh, solar array deploy. This will ensure that the Dragon spacecraft is powered for its trip to the space station. This is just the beginning of a cor carefully choreographed series of Draco thruster firings to reach the space station, and all that activity will be managed and monitored here at the International Space Station Flight Control Room at Mission Control Center in Houston, Texas. You can see the uh, view in the right of the International Space Station crew standing by for solar array deploy of uh, on the Dragon spacecraft in about 10 seconds. This is Dragon CC on countdown. Dragon's propulsion system has successfully primed and all thrusters report ready for firing. Standing by for confirmation of solar array deploy. Dragon is deploying a solar arrays. And as you can see, the solar arrays deploying on the Dragon spacecraft. This will provide power to Dragon as it uh, initiates its journey toward the International Space Station. Twelve and a half minutes after liftoff, everything uh, went very well. Dragon is where it belongs in space. The solar arrays locking into place. So as Dragon unfurls its solar arrays, the spacecraft will continue its journey to the International Space Station. Dragon will arrive at the station on Monday, July 2nd. NASA television coverage begins at 5.30 a.m. Eastern. What's the thing on New Hampshire? For Dragon rendezvous, grapple, and berthing to the station, capture is scheduled for approximately 7 a.m. Following at 9 a.m. Eastern is coverage of the installation to the station's Harmony module. NASA astronaut Ricky Arnold, backed by fellow as NASA astronaut Drew Foistel, will supervise the operation of the Canada Arm 2 robotic arm for Dragon's capture, while NASA astronaut Serena Anand Chancellor monitors the spacecraft systems. After Dragon capture, ground commands will be sent from Mission Control in Houston for the station's arm to rotate it and install it on the bottom of the station's Harmony module. 13 minutes, 45 seconds after launch, a successful launch, and the deploy of the Dragon and its journey to the International Space Station well underway.